Tonight, we continue our conversations with this year's class of African American Legacy Project Sports Legends of Northwest Ohio Hall of Famers with Dr. Aaron Richardson. A three sport athlete at start in the early 90s, Richardson made his mark in wrestling, both at start and at the University of Michigan. Now, a medical doctor in Chicago, we begin our chat by asking him what drew him to wrestling. Well, I think the fact that it was an individual sport, and that was my first. Uh, besides sixth grade basketball, that was my first real organized activity. And I had an uncle who wrestled, had a cousin who wrestled, so I was loosely familiar with it, but I was starting at ground zero. And even freshman year in high school, I was on the junior varsity team. So I didn't really show as much promise as some people might have thought because I had a slow start. But each year I kept getting stronger and kept getting better. And I really did football and track just to keep me in shape for my favorite sport, which was wrestling. That senior year, undefeated state champion, went on to win a national championship in high school as well. Obviously, Coach Sanders was a, a big part of, of your success. Yeah, Dan Sanders uh, was fantastic. He was a, a great role model. He was my geometry teacher, so he encouraged strong academics and uh, toughness on the mat. And we got in his little car and drove to Pittsburgh for the high school national tournament. And I was totally, you know, out of nowhere because my junior year I took fourth. So I wasn't heavily recruited. I wasn't recruited at all for wrestling because I don't think anyone expected me to do much. And so I was looking to try to get a scholarship and maybe play football or get an academic scholarship if I could. But wrestling, it just took off that senior year. And I think. Uh, I was as surprised as anyone that I, I was able to do so well. What does this weekend, what does this honor mean for you and your family? Well, I think it was an incredible honor to be, anytime you're inducted into some type of Hall of Fame, it's, it's a great honor. And it allowed me to just reminisce a little bit, going through scrapbooks and old pictures and looking at old trophies. Sometimes you just put your nose down and you just, the years go by and, and it allowed me to sort of appreciate like how special some of my accomplishments were. I think at the time I just kind of did my best and just sort of ticked them off the list and just kept moving forward. But yeah, I think the, the biggest thing is, you know, I didn't do this alone. I just want to thank my parents, my family, all the people who supported me uh, along the way, who encouraged me. 